Farmers in my constituency produce first-class beef to the highest standards, environmentally and in terms of animal welfare, at considerable cost to the family farm. Does the Minister think it is fair to pitch these farmers against Australian farmers and their intensively produced imports with lesser standards and greater environmental impact? Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I thank you for that question. In fact, I've met uh, twice in the last week uh, the Ulster Farmers Union uh, to discuss uh, particularly these issues. I met uh, with Diane Dodds, uh, the Northern Ireland Economy Minister, yesterday, and I'm meeting Edwin Poot, the Northern Ireland Agriculture Minister, uh, later today. So we are doing uh, extensive outreach uh, within Northern Ireland. I would point out to her the huge opportunities uh, for the Northern Irish agriculture sector. Uh, the very first uh, beef, Mr. Speaker, exported to the United States last year uh, came from foil food in Northern Ireland. There's great opportunities uh, for companies like Moy Park as well in Northern Ireland uh, to be able to be exporting more. We are absolutely confident, Mr. Speaker, of being on the front foot and making sure that Northern Ireland also benefits from our free trade agreements as it is written into the Northern Ireland Protocol and is able to sell more of its high-quality meat into markets all around the world, including to the CPTPP 11.